Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Factually and Contractually Mike, and we have a special guest today, everyone. Give it up for... Me, but in blue. For today's mp4 file on the youtube.com website, we're going to be looking at rich people houses once again. Now, you might have noticed there was a four month hiatus since my last one. I was just taking time off to process this. Like, can you imagine Dumbledore just walking his Dumbledore around? Also, everybody, oh, knee content, everyone. The girls are out. I spent an unnecessary amount of time making this graphic showing my socials and I really hate it. Like it's so ugly, but it does show you the socials. So if you wanna follow, go ahead and do that. Last time I used the website Sotheby's International Realty and I went on their website to use it again this time. However, something is wrong because a bunch of the top listings are, let's just say interesting. One of the most expensive properties is this $875 million drive-in theater. Hmm, no more Sotheby's babes for this episode of Judging Rich People Houses, we're using a website called James Edition. JamesEdition.com James has many things on sale. He's got real estate, he's got cars, yachts, jets. Yes, people are buying jets online. Where'd you park the jet? <laughs> Wait, in order to park a jet, do you need a runway? Can you just make a runway? Like, can I just go to a park? This is my runway now. I see a great deal of myself in you. Let's start with this winery in Navarra, and it's a cute 26,579,442 six bedroom, five bathroom. And the description is wonderful vineyard for sale in a priceless setting in the north of Spain, complete with a historic house, romantic gardens, and forest dating back to the 19th century. There are five pictures. How are they going to convey this entire outside inside in five photos? Well, let's have a look, shall we? This picture here, yeah, look, I'm sold. I'm practically writing and signing the contract and sending it back for approval as we speak. I love a maze. You saw my video on the maze runner, unless you didn't, in which case you're the flop and you're to blame. So let's talk about the building. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving. I think I could look hot in this building. Like, I don't think you can be ugly in this building. Like if you were ugly and you went to this building, I think it would just like raise your hotness level up a few points out of 10. So I think for all of us, this could be a good purchase. Picture three, I mean, I barely even noticed that the pictures changed because it's pretty much the same one, just slightly different. What are you hiding? First name James, last name Edition. What are you hiding? I'm gonna be real with you. I've had a few nightmares recently that involved me running through fields, being chased, by, I'm actually not gonna say who's chasing me, but it's a person, like a quite well-known person. So while this is a cute field per se, I immediately have issues. Cause if I'm being chased through this field, where's the lighting? There are no lights. Like I'm just looking at this, like there are no lights. If I head out, if there's a power outage, it's done. I'm scared of the dark. I'm 25 and I'm scared of the dark. What's worse, me being 25 or me being scared of the dark? Pick a struggle, honestly. But then they really just throw me out with this last picture because I don't understand the relevance. Like we've got all these pictures of this like vineyard and the historic house. Suddenly this modern looking thing. So I think somebody's lying. Next we have this house for sale. La di da, la di do, la di di. Historic Louis XIII castle. <gasps> Not the Tomlinson. Distinction of being located only a few kilometers south of Paris, aren't we all? This house and its displeases. Disple, dis, dis, oh, I can't. So the girls are saying that this is technically a castle. And I do have thoughts on living in a castle. You might be wondering, did he have thoughts on living in a castle? And yes, I did have thoughts on living in a castle. I don't think you can live in a castle if you're single. Like, I'm sorry, like, I can't live in a castle babes by myself. Like I think I would shit myself because there's just too much space. Like being in a place where I can't see every corner to start with is a little bit of an issue, but then multiple floors, it's over. But girls, imagine the Instagram photos here. Like I could sit myself up in front of that and I would take a banger photo and I would outsell Kylie, you know it's true. I could imagine having a little greyhound in a jumper running around there. I could put a plant in there. Yes, my mum bought me a plant. We won. I'm a plant person now, everyone get ready for that era. We even have a stable. Yes, it is one of my life goals to get a stallion and name it Megan. Just imagine being so affluent that you could just say, I'm going to the stables. Like I'm going to the stables to take Megan. Like, who are you? You know what? I'm just gonna say, it. I'm gonna say it. 
I think Dua Lipa could live here. But my question remains, tea or coffee, no. Why are there no pictures of the inside? Could you not just put one picture of the foyer perhaps? I wanna be rich and I want lots of money. Don't care about clever, don't care about funny. Magnificent apartment in historical property. <laughs> the palace? was the birthplace of the future Pope Pius XII. I screamed, collapsed and fell. Apparently this place was built in 1600. Now, I don't wanna be ageist. Sorry to my 421 year old girlies. But if you're 421 years old, you are older. This place is old. I'm fretting for the structural integrity as an engineer. Like it's cute, but at what point do we move on? There's a chandelier for Sia to hang on. You know what? It has a certain charm. The tiling is interesting. The fact that it's so old kind of scares me in the sense that there's so much that's happened in this building and that would scare me. I spoke about this on the podcast, but I went into a vintage store and I <laughs> had an experience per se. I was shitting, basically. I saw some paintings of children on the wall, a four poster bed, a rickety floor and a cold building and I said no. <laughs> you would think over 400 years you would like learn how to keep a calcium. You know, like just having gray walls and then having green walls, it's just, it's just wrong, okay? They're wrong for that. You can even see through the side thing there, it's like green wall, yellow wall, pink wall. Like, did you get the clicks, views and engagement that you wanted so desperately? And a blue wall, and a yellow wall, and a yellow wall, and a yellow wall, and a pink wall, and a blue wall, and a green print wall, ooh. Sorry to this Pope, but this is just not it. <laughs> Keeping with the theme of villas and old, we've got Medici Villa with views of Florence. Now I did actually scream, fall and collapse and call the authorities when I saw this because I was like, Medici Villa, like, mm, sure, we're all living in the Medici Villa. But it says, this beautiful Medici Villa was bought by Grand Duke Francesco Medici in 1570 and gifted to his lover Bianca Capello, whom he later married. People were just buying villas? For each other? Like, bitch, where's my villa? Imagine being Miss Bianca and then Mr. Grand Duke turns up and he's like, hey, bestie, ugh, here's an apartment. Ugh. Just kidding, it's a villa. Ugh. Also marry me. Like, if it's good Wi-Fi, I'm there. The villa and the over 30 farmhouses and several hundred hectares of land were used for making wine, olive oil, and other foods to be sold in the city. The amount of history, it's far too much. I can't purchase this, I'm sorry. Like, I was ready to sign. I had the cash book ready and everything. I just can't do it. There's too much going on. There's some whores in this house. I said, certified upkeep. There's just an obscene amount of upkeep that would need to be done on this place. Come on, staircase. Ooh, bitch. That's kind of the move. Like, can we discuss this? That picture is so big. I feel like if I saw that, it's almost as if I had gone on a holiday just by looking at it. This one's kind of doing it. Like, oof, ugh, that futon. Can we pause the furniture? I'll bring my own furniture in, thanks. This one here, I am not going to try and pronounce it. All I'm gonna say is that I can recognize that it says exclusive villa and it's nearly $25 million. Now, thankfully, they've supplied us with a little video here at the start, so why don't we take a little look at that? Okay, what are they? I mean, sure, it's always good to see someone in the building just to get a scale of how high the ceilings are and how big the rooms are and they're greeting each other inside and outside. Very handy. And the champagne. Oh, does that come with the building? A lady having a shower. Now she's swimming in the pool. Does she have a shower then go in the pool? That doesn't really make sense, does it? Bestie's in the spa now. Oh, great. People with, oh. That's enough. Here we have 2756 Turtle Bluff Drive. Now that does feel like a Mario Kart track. I won't lie. I got the girls out again. It's a cute little 14 million. It's a little bit on the cheap side, but you know, we gotta be humble. I am enjoying this. However, it is giving so much Fortnite roof. Is this all the one place? Like are the six bedrooms in there? What is all the other space for? Also again, not to repeat myself, but this is not a place for single people. <sighs> Where are the places for the single people? Where are the belts? Baby, can't you see? 
I'm falling. I love a staircase. Da 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 da. That's ugly. Da 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 da. da. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. The expectation was high going into the inside of this building and it's just not being met. There's just too much going on. I was rooting for us. And the last one for today is an apartment for sale in Barcelona, price on request, two bedroom, three bathroom. You see, I wouldn't have clicked on it because it seemed a bit small, you know, a little bit, a little bit cheap, a little bit small, a little bit, ugh, you know? But I saw a high ceiling, I saw glass, I saw steel, I saw concrete. And as you would know, if you've watched any of these videos that I've done before, you would know that those are the four things that I need. Glass, steel, concrete, high ceiling. As I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize that I do like stained glass. You know, back in the day, I would see stained glass and I'd be like, I don't understand the hype. Like, shut up with that stained glass shit. Like, literally just give me a clear window. I can't see anything if I look out the stained glass window. But now I'm like, maybe the point is to not see out the window. Look, okay, lock me up. Call me basic, I'm basic. That's hot. A high ceiling with a nice little like steel pillar and some concrete and an exposed brick. Like that is so Gossip Girl loft. When are we as a society gonna talk about how Dan was giving all these, eh, poor me, I'm poor. Like I'm going to rich people's school, but I'm poor. And then he was living in an expensive loft in Manhattan. When are we gonna talk about that? I could do without the gold table. My issue with that is it's winter and imagine that I'm sitting down to eat and I place bare skin on that table, I'm gonna get cold and I'm just not in the market for that. What does that say? May the bridges I burn light the way. Okay, girl boss, I think a girl boss lives here. Three words, and for what? What is the purpose? You're like, mmm, marble, mmm, gold. May the bridges I burn like the way. Like, what is the purpose? What are you trying to achieve? Hot chair. Like, you can't sit in that chair and not be hot. Like, if you think you're not hot, buy that chair and sit in it. This actually raises a point that I would like to make about interior design. I love this shit. When it's like a painted wall and it's like underneath scratch and sniff, there's a brick. You know what? I think I could be single and live here. So let's just, let's manifest that for me. My Barcelona era. Funnily enough, I myself, I've been furnishing the apartment. As you can see, there's things happening behind me in this room, but also just in general, I've been like, making some purchases, ordering some stuff to make my apartment a little bit nicer. So maybe when that's done, I can do an updated apartment tour if that's of interest. That does bring me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. And if you're not subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button and check out my other socials. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out, bye. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs>